Hi, my name is Michal Riesling. I'm the marketing chair of the HD Base T Alliance. We are at ISC 2012 in Amsterdam. Here is the HD Base T booth. I'd like to show you some of the stuff that we are showing here. First, let's start with a quick introduction what HD Base T is all about. So HD Base T enables what we refer to as the five-player convergence via a single 100 meter long LAN cable. We enable you guys to replace all the cables with a single CAT5E LAN cable, okay? So instead of having like a bunch of six or seven cables, now you can live with a single RJ45 connector. And more or less, that's exactly what HD Base T is all about, and that's the huge value it brings to the industry and to the installers. Here at ISC, we are showing several demos. First one is the single wire TV. This is a TV equipped with HD Base T. It allows you to get rid of all your cables and once again to use a single RJ45 connector, a single LAN cable. This cable now carries the HDMI video, audio, Ethernet control, yes, and power. It carries 100 watt, which is enough to power this display. This cable is connected to a multimedia streamer, which is also a multi-room device that is capable of sending the five play and all the HD based stuff to two display. One of them is the single wire display that we already showed you. Second one is the HD based projector. This projector is equipped, sorry, is equipped with a LAN cable, a single RJ45, carries all the signals from the streamer to the projectors. Okay? The motivation is to allow users to have a single device that can uh, distribute content between different rooms. They have access to all their contents. They can use the controls. They can even power the display, which makes it much, much easier to install and to work with. Another demo that I'd like to show you is the HD Base T switch. So far, I showed you two displays, but let's extend it. Let's have like four displays, all connected to a single HD Base T switch. It's very interesting to know that you can now plug in all your devices, all your source devices, whether they are HDMI or HD Base T. Here we are showing three different devices. It's a media streamer equipped with HDMI. It's a Blu-ray player equipped with HDMI. Another laptop equipped with HDMI, and we also have an HD Base T camera equipped with HD Base T. And in this case, this camera is one of the sources that's connected to the switch, but it also gets the power directly from the switch, which makes it very, very easy to install. You can also daisy chain several displays or several cameras, okay? The switch is connected to four displays. One of them is an HDMI. The rest of them are HD based T. Okay. Once they are connected to the displays, you can distribute your, con your content. You can also control that. You can also control that, which means that even if you have a display which is 100 meter apart from the switch, you still can use your infrared remote control, your USB devices. Switch will automatically take care of that, sending back all the controls to the switch will give you the flexibility that you normally need when you install stuff like that. This switch can be controlled by an HD Base T control point, which can be in the form of an iPad, an iPod, an iPhone, or any other tablet device. It's quite easy to control and to use. One of the reasons why people like the HD Base T technology and like to use the HD Base T switch is because it's relatively very easy to install, uh, especially when you are using legacy devices that are not equipped with HD Base T. Here is a basic example of how you can connect three displays uh, with HD Base T. If the displays are using HDMI, they can easily be connected to HD Base T extenders or dongles. Okay, once again, the dongles are connected with an HDMI cable to the display and with a LAN cable using the HDBase-T all the way back to the switch. 
So eventually you are dealing with a single cable that needs to be routed. In some cases, if you already have the infrastructure installed for Ethernet, you can leverage that. You can use the existing cables, the existing connectors. You don't need to reroute that. You don't need to install any new cable. And that's why installers are, are crazy about the technologies. These are part of the benefits that we offer the installers, performance over long distance, ease of installation, reliability, flexibility, low cost of installation, and without compromising on quality. Right? So you get the same performance, same quality that you normally get with short cables, but this time you are running over long, extremely cheap cables. And that's what HDBase-T is very good at. If you walk around at ISC at the show floor, you'll see uh, a lot of vendors showing HDBase-T products, uh, products that are already uh, sold in the market. We only have a few examples here from the Alliance members. Uh, you see products from uh, Kramer's, products from Crestron, products from Silvertail, Geffen, Atlona, and once again, those are just a few examples. Uh, HDBase-T has gained a lot of momentum recently, so we see uh, tens of companies showing and selling and promoting HDBase-T products in the market. It's slowly becoming the standard de facto in this industry, and uh, it's, a good, uh, it's a good promotion tool for HDBase-T. Uh, the fact that companies are selling products successfully, users are using that, installers are getting a lot of uh, positive feedbacks from their customers. Um, and this is the momentum that we are trying to uh, maintain as we move on, uh, penetrating into consumer electronic products and other, use, and other uh, segments. And yes, if you like to learn more about HDBase-T, uh, the members, the products, please log in to the hdbst.org uh, website. You'll have all the information, including all the la latest news uh, in our website. Thank you.